All right. So right now we have Graham Parkhurst, who can be seen in Netflix's new series, Glamorous. How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm well, thank you. So tell me, how excited are you for Glamorous to premiere on Netflix? Oh, I'm I'm so excited. It it feels like uh, I I mean we filmed it last year, and it just kind of like sticks in your head until the show comes out, you know. So <laughs> when it finally gets releases to the world, it's like, oh, I can sleep. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so you play Parker, a confident, self-proclaimed jock who symbolizes unobtainable gay cis male perfection. So what was it about this role and project that appealed to you? Oh, man. Um, first of all, that character description is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like a setup, uh, but uh, I remember reading it and being like, there's there's just no way. And I'm, I'm a Canadian, so... Um, whatever projects come down down the line you just kind of you just submit your tape and then hope for the best but this one in particular I was like there there's no shot so uh, <laughs> I, I didn't think I had a chance in the world so I didn't put much much time into this one which probably helped my audition because I wasn't overthinking it but uh yeah so I, I I remember getting it and then looking at the character description again and being like uh oh <laughs> I, I I better start going to the gym again so <laughs> <laughs> love it well what can you tell us about this chance encounter that you have with marco can you say too much or because you're basically uh, love interest so yeah i guess uh, i mean it it's a chance encounter it's something that would not normally happen in regular life so in everyday life so um yeah i i don't want to say too much i don't want to get in trouble by netflix but it's <laughs> no uh, spoilers <laughs> Yeah, no spoilers, no spoilers. But it's a chance encounter, and then we had this like game of cat and mouse that lasts okay. uh, a long time. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, what did you want to bring to this character? How did you want to approach Parker? Uh, truthfully, um, I I would say Parker and mm -hmm. I we're not like too far apart in in terms of personality, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of situation Parker's uh, a lot of situations Parker finds himself in. Uh, I have been in so <laughs> it's uh it, it wasn't that that much of a stretch for me yeah. um yeah i think the hardest part actually for preparing for this role was reading it and seeing how often i would um be uh shirtless right so <laughs> um like prior what was it covid and then we had then i had a trip to italy and we're just like sitting there eating pizza for three weeks right <laughs> and that's when i that's when i got the call about um a callback mm -hmm. and literally i i think yeah i had pizza like in my mouth and i was like <laughs> okay time. it's time to start eating salads so uh <laughs> that was the hardest part for me is like doing a like a full transition with mm -hmm. uh food and stuff because there wasn't a ton of time between booking the role and filming the show so okay yeah okay. cool cool well what was it like to work alongside miss benny and the iconic kim cattrall uh, I spent most of my time with Miss Benny, um, not as much time with Kim Cattrall, um, but Miss Benny is literally just that, just an icon. Also, very, very sweet and very kind on set and um, very giving. We had so much fun doing all of our scenes together. Uh, we created uh, a great friendship through it all, you know, and Kim Cattrall, she's just, she's, She's Kim Cattrall, so mm -hmm. like she walks into a room, you're like, ah, that's enough, a start, you enough, know. Yes, <laughs> <That's> enough said. <laughs> so there was great chemistry with everyone on set. Oh yeah, Th yeah. that was the craziest thing. It was uh, they, they're all so wonderful. They're they're all kind of new too, mm -hmm. um, not new, but uh, kind of just starting their stardom. I would say a lot of them. So. Everybody, it was just this vibe on set. Everybody wanted to work together. Everybody loved each other. It was, uh, it was pretty magical. Good, good. So is this your first major role in a television series? Yes, yes. Okay, so as an as an actor, what did you take away from this experience? Oh, boy. Um, everything. Um, it was, I, I usually play, like, smaller roles. So having to create a character from scratch, for example, um and you know just seeing my picture on the wall when i went in for for mm -hmm. for costume fittings and i'm like up there with the cast and it's like wow this is like i am part of the show it still yeah. kind of feels real right um because it was my first it's my first big one but um i learned so much just from being around uh all these actors who've been doing it for so long 
uh, I kind of grew confident in in what I was doing and my abilities too, which was really nice because I showed up at first being like, "Oh no, like <laughs> maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not prepared," you know. Yeah, but so. uh, but it. it it was amazing. I learned so much. Um, I also love the trailer you get as a series regular, you yeah, know, yeah, exactly. that was pretty nice. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so what do you ultimately hope audiences take away from Glamorous? Um, it's, it's a journey of self-discovery for Miss Benny's character. So um, I, I hope a younger audience can kind of relate to that and see themselves in it. Um, and there's, there's tons of different people represented in the show. Um, also, it's just fun. I hope people have fun watching it. Like, it's not too serious. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It's going to be the perfect, like, summer binge for everyone. Um, yeah. yeah, just have fun and, mm -hmm. and binge it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Is there an episode you are most excited for us to see? Episode eight. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. That's all you want to say? Just episode eight? And... That's all I can say. Okay. Well, episode eight, yeah. Okay, so to look out for it, yes. <laughs> now, last last week I had the opportunity to interview Miss Benny as well, and they said the depiction of queer characters on screen has steadily improved since 2019, thanks to hit shows like Heartstopper and It's a Sin. And they also they said that they believe that Glamorous can add new threads to the tapestry of LGBTQ plus representation. Do you agree? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, it's been it's been an amazing few years uh, for representation, especially for LGBTQ. Like it's uh, it's kind of beautiful to watch. There's like space now for everyone, mm -hmm. which I wouldn't necessarily say, necessarily say there was before prior. So mm -hmm, definitely for sure. Now, you have had roles in several several other shows, including Star Trek, Strange uh, Strange New Worlds, The Umbrella Academy, Titans. You've been in the short film Happy For You and Hallmark's uh, Boyfriends of Christmas Past. Have you always had a passion for acting and performing? Yes. Um, well, it's very funny because I knew right when I was a child that I wanted to be an actor. Um, mm -hmm. So um, coming... I, we, I wasn't really in a town that had any access to training or anything like that. So mm -hmm. I kind of fell into it in high school, but I never questioned like, oh, maybe I'll be a firefighter or maybe I'll be a teacher. Like I always just knew I wanted to be an actor. And uh, like, yeah, so it, it, it was kind of cool actually when everybody's like trying to figure out what they want to do. And I was like, <laughs> let's make it happen. So yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Awesome. And then I did, actually I did musical theater for like nine years professionally. Mm -hmm. And then switched over to film and TV the past like four or five years, I guess. Okay. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. There was just this like urge to try something new because music theater was getting a little stale for me. Mm. Um, and then uh, film and TV, so difficult. And the audition, the quick turnaround, it's just. And I love that. I kind of love the chaos That's of great. it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. mm, awesome. So, who are some artists you would absolutely love a chance to work with someday? Oh, um, Matt Palmer, of course. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> of course. Um, probably Jonathan Bailey would be really cool. Mm. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, Murray Bartlett. Yes. Okay, Murray Bartlett. Okay. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> those three, those three would be pretty iconic. Or um, James Marsden. I've always kind of looked up to him. Oh, I love James Marsden. Yeah. Just like, uh, it, he's got he's done so many things and also to like hairspray come on like yeah <laughs> you know the musical theater kid being like oh i could do it all too if he can so exactly yes i'm a yeah. theater kid myself and if i was ever if if i was ever to do a hairspray corny collins is like the number one role i would oh, really do the best role 100 yeah. percent. yeah and if i did drag maybe edna but, <laughs> <laughs> but love hair really yes yeah. love hairspray great great characters i'd love to do it someday yeah. So Graham, what are some future goals you hope to accomplish with your career? Oh, well, with my career, I really, I'm trying to, well, not trying to, I am in the process of getting my visa okay. uh, because I think if I want to expand further in my career, I have to come to America. I think that's, you know, it's the epicenter. So if you're not there, you, you could be missing out. Um, but I would I would really love to do like like a heavy like HBO show, okay. um, dark comedy kind of thing. I think I would suit that pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, I'd love to get into movies as well. I'm kind of like oh I want everything you know oh, like want it all. Give the, just give me the world. I'll take it. You know. Yes. Now where in Canada are you based at? 
Uh, so I'm based out of Toronto, Ontario. Okay, so th- isn't Toronto doesn't doesn't Toronto like have a big um, entertainment industry or anything like that, or just a lot of films? Absolutely. Like okay. They so basically, what was this? I believe every studio in Toronto and the surrounding area um, is full for the next five years. Okay. So there's tons and tons of shows moving up there, which is giving which is opening doors to a lot of Canadians. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. it's probably how I got glamorous, um, <laughs> but like, um, so there there is going to be more opportunity for for canadians to jump into larger roles but we do kind of play um the the backup roles for uh, most tv shows um so you're like you're playing the bartender or or the server or the cop right so um well like always a bridesmaid but never a bride yeah 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 and I, i remember i forget what show it was and i had this really funny scene and i had everybody in stitches and then it came out and it was so boring. This my scene, I was like, what happened? It's like, oh well, you can't take away from mm, <laughs> the people who are actually in the show. Yeah, You're just it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember being like, ah, you know, like mm. you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, yeah. So come to LA, get your visa, and then maybe some more opportunities will come up. Maybe we'll do hairspray together here. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> now who's gonna go for corny? <laughs> You can go for corny. I'll go for it. Okay, awesome deal. <laughs> I'm, I'm paying you for your word. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> All right, Graham. Well, how can one stay up to date with you? Uh, they can find me on Instagram. It is at Grammy Cardiff, uh, C A R D I F F. Um, and that's it. I'm not on anything else, you know. <laughs> no TikTok. I, I'm not even on TikTok anymore. <laughs> I just uh, I'm too old, you know. So. Um, <laughs> I, I social media uh, has exhausted me, so I have to be smart about it and start I taking it off my phone, you know. So totally get that, totally get that. Yes. All right, then before we wrap up, are there any other upcoming projects or anything else you'd like to mention or plug at this time? Um, I uh, my biggest project this summer is to get a tan and grow out my mustache. So <laughs> you know, I'll take, I hope you have time to do that. You know, so <laughs> that, that's the plan. <laughs> All right, fantastic.